guys, what's up? Pass Baller here. This is now the eighth game. Is it? Yes, I'm always confused. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's right. Eighth game for today, December 21st, 2022. Um, NBA game day. This is uh, a rematch of what we had a couple of nights ago. Um, Dallas Mavericks going up against Minnesota Timberwolves. They would go up at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. That's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Okay? Right, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, here we go. The spread is minus 3.5. That's actually given towards Minnesota Timberwolves, the visiting team. Let's take a look at the standings and the rankings of both uh, of these teams. They belong to the... Western Conference, all right? Um, for Minnesota, they are at number 9 with a record of 16 and 15. Um, while uh, Dallas Mavericks, they are at number 10, right behind Minnesota, with a record of 15 and 16. All right, there you go. Minnesota, they still have uh, the home court advantage in terms of fatigue. Well, they rested last night. Um, in terms of momentum, well, Minnesota defeated Dallas uh, a couple of nights ago. Um, that was with a score of 116-106. So this would be some sort of a rematch, right? So let's take a look at the availability of the players or the health of both teams. This is a long list, man. Let's start with Dallas Mavericks, okay? Um, it shows here uh, Finney Smith, Josh Green, and Kleber still out. And Dwight Powell now listed as uh, questionable, right? Sorry about that. Um, now for Minnesota... So four players listed for Dallas. For Minnesota, I guess this one's more. Um, McLaughlin and Towns are both out. And we got Terrain Prince, Rudy Gobert, and Kyle Anderson um, listed as questionable. All right. So um, in terms of uh, availability, I'm going to side with, uh, oh, with the Dallas Mavericks in here um, as uh, Minnesota has more players listed down here. Right now, uh, I would make this one uh, a bit shorter than usual. Um, my my style or my technique, whenever this happens, you know, the, the 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 you know, team A versus team B happened a couple of nights ago, and it'll happen right again. Um, I'm gonna pick uh, the one who lost the previous game. Now that technique, quote unquote, is actually very much applicable in this game, especially that uh, Luca. Luka Doncic is actually playing for Dallas Mavericks. Now, there's a possibility that, yes, Gobert will be playing for Minnesota, stuff like those. But, man, Luka is Luka. Um, I wish you knew uh, what, you know, what Luka means down here in our country, right? <laughs> um, well, Luka is the best player in the court. Now, Dallas has that. They lost their game a couple of nights ago. So I'm pretty sure that they're looking for, a, you know, they're, they're, they're looking for um, some sort of a revenge game. And minus 3.5 is something that is really, really doable. Now, with, a, you know, with the format of the Wolves that, that have right now, um, I mean, I'm talking about the, the, the rotation and all that because of those injuries. Um, the Mavericks... Um, may have a chance by you know by attacking uh, the paint uh, in this one. I mean, I'm not sure, of course, if Gobert will be playing. That you know that there would be a sudden a sudden change of plans, of course. But uh, if Gobert would not be playing, for me, their main you know their main option would be to do some dribble drive stuff and all that. And I'm pretty sure that something would open up. So my pick would be Dallas minus 3.5. Again, that's Mavs minus 3.5. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.